Welcome back to another episode of Sifted Tally Films. And today we're going to take a look at this clip I saw with Cam Newton saying that Lamar is the greatest dual threat quarterback that has ever played in the NFL. Now, before we even get started, I agree with Cam. But let's just take a listen and see what Cam had to say about, you know, his opinion. He said, do you see or think of yourself as the greatest dual threat to ever play the game? No. If not, who is the best dual threat the game has seen? Lamar Jackson. What? Who are your top three then? Lamar Jackson, Michael Vick. Um, I'll put myself up there. Why so? Why Lamar? Over you and Vic? Well, Lamar's, Lamar's style is a little different than mine. Mm -hmm. Like, he got big play. Any play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, he got speed that I never had. Mm -hmm. And he's just electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Two different body types. Uh, Vic, same thing. He's like, bro, them twos is like fast, bro. Like, mm -hmm. and then, like, I play the game more powerful. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of this. They might that. run around you. Yeah, I can run both. But I might probably get caught. <laughs> Vic, <laughs> Lamar, they ain't getting caught. Yeah. They ain't getting caught. Yeah. But yeah, Lamar Jackson and Michael Vick, yeah. for shit show. Now, I agree with pretty much everything Cam said. Two different body styles, two different type of backs. Cam would be more of a power back, a bruiser, a downhill type runner. Lamar's more of your shifty, your speedy guy. You're getting open space and run away from people. So it's like their their styles are two different kinds of styles. And even though both of them them are considered dual threat quarterbacks, can run and pass, but their running styles are completely different. Um, so what I wanted to do was, and again, I agree that Lamar is the greatest dual threat um, quarterback that we've seen. I wanted to take a look at. Cam's first six years versus Lamar first six years and see how they compare. So what we're going to do for these next few minutes is take a look at year one for Lamar compare versus year one for Cam. Compare year one and two together versus Cam and Lamar. And we're going to see the progression as to when, you know, the stats or whatever just took off and went in different directions. Because we know Cam started out as the starter when he got there. Lamar transitioned to be a starter later on in the year. So let's just pop on over, look at the stats, and see what pops out, you know, for us, you know, when we do that. First year, um, Cam started out 16 games. Lamar didn't. Uh, Cam was 6-10. and 10. Lamar was 6-1. and one. Um, Lamar came in after Joe got hurt and went on a run and pushed the Ravens to the playoffs. Um, completion percentage about the same. Cam threw for 4,000 yards as a rookie, which is crazy. Lamar threw for 1,200. Again, a lot less games, and I keep that in mind. Um, rushing, rush about the same in a lot less games. Lamar rushed for 695. Cam rushed for 706. And... Cam had a lot more rushing touchdowns. Now, the rushing touchdowns, Cam's going to beat that because Cam was pretty much the goal line rush. Kind of like how Jalen Hurts is with, with the tush push now. Cam was their goal line rusher for the most part, too. So, Cam is probably going to have way more rushing touchdowns when we go through this for the for the seasons, too. So, let's go into the second season. All right, this is the second season. Now let, let me go back to the first season for one thing. All right, Cam made the Pro Bowl in his first season, his rookie season. All right, the second season right here. So their starts are kind of the same now. Lamar's record is 19 and 3. Cam record is 13 and 19. So Cam still got a bunch of more uh games on him because he's played two full seasons now. Lamar's in his second season, but only first full season. But he wins the MVP in his first full season. Uh, passing yards, Cam still outnumbered him like 
Cam almost threw for more passing yards in his first season than Lamar threw for his first season and second season put together. Cam threw for 4,000 that first season. So after two seasons, Lamar had a little bit over 4,000 yards. But you look at the rushing yards. Rushing, Lamar had 1,900. Cam had just under 1,500. Rushing touchdowns, Cam had 22. Lamar had 12. But again, Lamar won MVP this year. Uh, the passing touchdowns, where are they? Um, let me see. Are they even up there? Pass 40, 42. I think Lamar had 36 this year. So Lamar got shot past Cam right here. He shot past Cam. I think Lamar had 36 passing touchdowns this year. He won the MVP. Let's go to year three. All right, year three. Passing yards. Cam is over 10,000 now. Lamar's at 7,085. Um, passing TDs. Lamar still leads. Um, 68 to 30 to 64. Uh, interceptions. Lamar is way ahead of Cam. Cam has thrown 42 interceptions at this point. Lamar has only thrown 18. The passer rating, Lamar wins at 102.6. Cam, 86.4. Rushing yards, Lamar has almost 1,000 more yards, right under uh, 3,000. Cam is barely over 2,000. And again, Cam with the rushing TDs because he's the goal line back for them, 28 to Lamar's 19. Cam makes his second Pro Bowl. And again, Lamar has a Pro Bowl, all pro and MVP based off the year before his second season. Going to the fourth season. Um... If I'm not mistaken, this is the season Lamar got hurt about maybe week 10 or 11, somewhere in there where he didn't finish the season. So this is, we'll see how these stats kind of play out right here. Passing yards, Cam still has an advantage, um, probably about a 5,000-yard advantage at this point. That's what it's looking like. Um, passing yards per attempt are dead even, though. Dead even. Lamar still has a two-touchdown advantage at this point in their career. Uh, Cam's interceptions are through the roof, 54 to 31. That's a 23 um, interception advantage or disadvantage in Cam's favor. Uh, quarterback rating is in Lamar's favor. Rushing attempts, Lamar has way more and way more yards, 1,100 more yards. But Cam still leads to the touchdowns because, again, he's going to run them goal line. He running downhill. Cam is 6'6", 260. Lamar 6'2", 200. 210. So Cam coming down here hitting you like a Mack truck. Cam like a tight end running the ball. So that's why he getting them goal line carries. We know how we know we know how big Cam is. Uh year five. Lamar got hurt this year also. Um, and I'm not sure about Cam's injury status or when he got hurt or if he ever got hurt. I don't, I didn't I like Cam, but I don't follow him enough to know if he like got hurt in any of these seasons or whatnot. And in the comment section, if he did, y'all can let me know. And that'll add some more context to the to the story. But um, year five, at the end of year five, I'm trying to see the record. Cam now has a winning quarterback record now. I didn't really I, I should have made note of that earlier because early he was had a losing record. But he now has a winning quarterback record. Lamar has a winning record. We all know that Lamar going to keep a winning record. Cam has 6,000 more passing yards. Pass per game, Cam has more. Passing TDs, Cam has went over. Remember, Lamar got hurt, um, these, so he wasn't finishing seasons. He has 16 more passing TDs than Lamar. Uh, but was there almost 30 more interceptions. He has 26 more interceptions at this point in his career. Passer rating, Lamar's up by eight. Uh, rushing TD, rushing attempts, Lamar has way more. Lamar has 1,200 more rushing yards. Um, Cam has 19 more rushing TDs. At this point, Cam, three Pro Bowls, Lamar two. Cam, all pro. So this must have been the year Cam won MVP. All right, so this must be, this fifth year must be the year Cam won MVP. So he's an all pro, MVP, and offensive player of the year. So this this had this fifth year must be the year Cam won MVP. All right. So now the, the stats are they trying to come back together a little bit, but not really, because we know what Lamar did in year six. He won the MVP again, <laughs> which was this past year. And um passing yards, Lamar still behind Cam, about six thousand yards. Uh the yard, the passing yards per attempt are pretty even. Uh passing yards per game Cam got. Uh, passing TDs, Cam still has him at this point because, again, Lamar didn't finish two seasons. So if he finished those two seasons, maybe he's up there with Cam. 
but Cam is just out the way worse with touchdowns. Uh, and it's, what's that? Rushing yards, Lamar has them, and probably going to always have, have him in rushing yards. Uh, rushing TDs, he might catch Cam because Cam faded off at the end, but Lamar's probably not going to run as much as he used to. Lamar's probably, his, his passing TDs probably going to go through the roof here in these next five to eight years. I, I think so. And that's probably me being a homer, but it is what it is. Screw it. And then you get down to, again, another MVP, another all pro. The, the thing about it is right here is this line right here. Neither one of them got championships. And we hopefully we can put two, three, four, five, six, eight, twelve in this line right here. And I and I was being funny when I said twelve, but I wouldn't mind at least two or three in this line right here for Lamar. So again, I just wanted to go through and see where. You know, each one of these guys were in their career, you know, each year leading up to it. I think Cam's right, man. Lamar is the best dual threat quarterback we've seen thus far in the NFL. Um, he just, the only thing he's missing is those championships. So, winning the playoffs, get you some championships, and solidify your place in NFL history, Lamar, man. That's all I got for y'all, man. I appreciate y'all for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.